Greetings Creepers, this is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com and I am opening a package today that I have literally been waiting decades to open. I will have to explain that as I am doing so, but here is the happy knife and here is the box. I will keep yammering on. There was, there was a show I watched when I was a child um, that, that I just adored. I, I thought it was way, way fun. It was in reruns even then. Um, but they, uh, but it was a show that was on twice a week, which was bizarre. Uh, it was, on, as I recall, it was Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and it, it is a, it is a, a television show that, due to the stupidities of um, uh, of corporate wrangling, has not been released on uh, on digital media, on, on the video media, until last year. Um, I have made really, really crappy um, uh, uh, VHS copies of, of, of this particular television show um, uh, when it was being broadcast in, in one in one of the one place we were living. They were, they were having they were showing it like three in the morning or whatever. And what 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 is this thing that I am telling you about? It is of course. The 1966 Batman featuring Adam West and Burt Ward. Um, oh, and uh, 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 Oscar, um, not Oscar Romero, uh, um, um, Cesar Romero as the Joker. He refused to um, uh, shave his mustache, so they, um, um, they they put the white pancake makeup up over his mustache. Uh, Burgess Meredith as the, as the Penguin. Um, uh, Julie Newmar as uh, uh, as Catwoman and Eartha Kitt as Catwoman, and then there was another woman too who was Catwoman. Um, just a, a, a cast of uh, a fantastic cast. Um, um, Frank Gorshin was the Riddler. Um, oh, and, and and oh, and Vincent Price was the uh, was Egghead. Um, Victor Bono was King Tut. Oh my gosh. I am amazing at myself that I remember this much. Um, it, it, it it was just one of those shows that, that there were there were and constant cameos with that that shtick of them walking up the side of the building, which they really weren't walking up the side of a building. But people would pop their heads out the window, and uh, there were all sorts of uh, of folks. This is the only real Batman, into my mind. Um, uh, you know, we talk about like presidents. Like there are, um, and and like ex presidents is like there. There's some folks who had, um, like Jimmy Carter. You know, he he was probably a lackluster president, but he's been a really active ex president. Um, I think Adam West is the best ex Batman of all time. I mean, uh, he he has had a fantastic career of cool. I'm I'm still yammering on, and I have not uh, not opened this thing yet. So um. This it was this was released last fall, um, um, and it seemed like it was incredibly expensive, and I couldn't rationalize it um, then. Uh, but it was on sale ish the other day, and I bet it's because of that other Batman and Superman movie that's coming out. Um, but this is the limited edition uh, that comes with a uh, with a little bat bat car. Um, Oh, I loved this show. I was just a little kid, um, yes, when I watched it. And like I said, it was even, I mean, I, I would have been months old when, when, uh, when, when it, w it was originally showing. Um, but as I recall, it was on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, um, and there's no way I was watching television when I was two years old or whatever. Um. This, this is this is the triumph of capitalism. Frankly, <laughs> this is the reason why we invented um, uh, Blu-rays. I believe so. I could own a copy of this of this fantastic thing. Look, so it has a disposable little thing here, and it has on the back. Oh, wham! Um, Neil Hefty wrote the that that fantastic. Um, uh, theme song, as I recall. And how do I even open this? Is there some, is there instructions? What is this? 
Now this has to come up. And... <laughs> wow, talk amongst yourselves. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this actually has a number on it. This is 47,966 of 95,000 copies of this. So this is not technically in any way limited. Well, I mean, it's limited because everything in this world is limited. I hate to break it to you. This is a finite world. Everything is limited. Um, oh, you're an idiot! It, it's, it's, uh, it's got a, uh, um, just you pull this back like this. <laughs> and you've got our hero. Oh! oh. Oh, okay, so uh, it opens up and it has a episode guide and an Adam West scrapbook and season one, Burgess Meredith on the cover, cover. Uh, season two with uh, Julie Newmar, Catwoman on the cover, and indeed Cesar Romero uh, as the Joker on the other cover. And, um, what makes it cool in limited edition is that it has a set of collectible cards. I wonder what those look like. Um, I had some Batman bubblegum cards. I must have those around here someplace. Um, I didn't have the whole set, um, but this is all 44 of these collectible things. And indeed, a Batmobile. I have several Batmobiles because did I mention that I'm I'm of the age that this is a perfectly time I mean this was um I've been waiting for them to say yes take my money uh, or, or uh, let, let, uh, to allow them to take my money on this thing um, I'm of the perfect age who uh, someone who grew up with Batman who who thought that this is what comic books were um, the, the sort of glee and the joy and the sense of style and um, uh, just zany wackiness. All those Dutch angles, you know, that slightly canted uh, camera work. Oh, I should be shooting this whole thing in, in uh, with, a, with a Dutch angle. Hmm. Ne next time I do something, next time I, I have a, uh, uh, an unboxing where I, for something I've been waiting my entire life, I will, I will uh, uh, have, do, do Dutch angles like they did whenever uh, uh, you were in the lair of one of the arch villains uh, and such deliciously absurd arch villains um, you know the Marvel Universe was fine I guess you know I, I really don't oh here I'm I don't want to strain the things I don't love because I just adore this I let, let's not tarnish this moment um, I shall be watching Every one of these things, as I as I recall, they were like I said Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it would be uh, some trouble. They, they would be in some cliffhanger. There was a time when they were going to be, I don't know, they were tied at the bottom of a giant cup of coffee, cup cup that was going to be filled with a huge uh, from a huge coffee pot of um, some kind of acid, right, and. Um, who knew? How were they going to get out of there? That, that's how they were left, I think, on Tuesday night. And on Thursday, you'd uh, tune in and you'd be able to see, oh, well, that's how ingeniously uh, Batman got them out of that. Um, I, 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 love, I love that shtick of, of, a, uh, of, a, of a cliffhanger and, and how it worked out that you didn't have to wait, wait, wait too long to find out what the, uh, what the actual resolution was. Uh, anyways, this has been the... Uh, Dr. Leach, the Leach Doctor from DailyNightmare.com, um, your source for Midwest weirdness, uh, in, like things like this. Um, I realize that the um, people are really, you know, of a, a divided mind about the the '66 Batman. Um, the, some people think it, it was the it was not what really comics were all about, and I think it's exactly what comics were all about. I think it's what made you love Batman to this day. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been waiting decades to have have this collection on my shelf. I should show you my collection of a uh, of Batmania, Batmanity, um, a Batmanity. Hmm. No, that that's not that's not the right word, huh? 
Anyways, uh, uh, until next time, peace.